separated from the group, this youngster has made a dangerous mistake. Alaskan dinosaur bone beds are dominated by juvenile and Montosaurus remains. Some show clear evidence of Trudon bite marks. It seems, despite its small size, Trudon thrived here by exploiting the vulnerability of the juveniles throughout the long, dark winter months. With a steady food supply, it means Trudon can survive the harsh Arctic winters. And in doing so, grew to almost double the size of their cousins further south. But these were the exception. Wherever else Tyrannosaurs lived, they were the largest predator living in groups that consist of both youngsters and adults. In these deadly packs, youngsters provide the speed, adults the power. It's a hunting strategy that they use to deadly effect. Despite appearances, this mob attack isn't carefully planned. There is no strategy behind the actions of the gang. It's merely opportunism. And when the kill has been made, the next battle soon begins. In many tyrannosaurs, we find holes and gouges on the skulls, injuries which turn out to be bite marks made by other tyrannosaurs. In one Desplatosaurus fossil, the tooth marks indicate that an individual had been subject to several attacks. In another, the tip of a tooth was left embedded in the bone of its skull. From this evidence, we can 